This is the GoGo Travel Elite Mobility Scooter by Pride Mobility. It is an excellent product. It's the second one we've owned. Uh, what makes it unique is that it's very lightweight, easy to take apart, and we can actually pack it in the back seat of a sedan. We, uh, we take it with us on airplane trips, so it's been very useful. However, we found the uh, original equipment uh, seat to be kind of big and awkward, and um, my son didn't need that level of uh, support, so we retrofit it with a bicycle seat. We'll explain how we did that and why we did that. That's coming up next. Now let's next look at the reason why uh, you might want to change the seat to something smaller. This is the GoGo uh, Travel Elite scooter disassembled into pieces. You do this when you want to put it in the um, car to travel with. Now, um, as you can see, the uh, largest piece is the uh, the main piece in the middle, but the second largest piece is the seat that's shown here in the top right-hand corner. And uh, I can tell you from personal experience, it's awkward to take that thing uh, in and out, but more importantly, it takes up too much room in the trunk of a rental car when you're uh, uh, moving um, from spot to spot. So that's the main reason we wanted to uh, get rid of that uh, huge seat and replace it with something smaller. So here is how the seat conversion was completed. On the right hand side you have uh, the bicycle seat um, shown in black at the top. Attached to it is a uh, replacement uh, seat post and to the right is a uh, trailer hitch pin, quick release. I bought all those items on uh, Amazon. The seat was 40 bucks, the post was 10, and the, uh, the pin was 9, I think. So they were the new components. On the left is the uh, go go seat post that's been pulled out of the unit here. Um, on the bottom of the seat post, circled here in green, is the uh, original equipment manufacturer holes drilled so that it can be uh, fastened to the base of the unit. So I took this to my local shop and my friend uh, Brian drilled new holes in the um, uh, top of the go go uh, seat post circled here in red. Um, there's two holes that are drilled there and um, I also had him put uh, two more holes in the seat post just in case we wanted a different uh, height adjustment or whatever. So you really need a drill press in order to, uh, to drill these holes. Make sure that the uh, the holes line up so that the pin can go through. So that's as uh, simple a uh, setup of, as it is. So here we have the two components. Slide the bike post into the go-go post. And just look for the alignment of the holes. And once you get it, take the pin, put it in. See, same thing here. There's the uh, a quick pin. Put the seat in. Line the holes up, and you're done. So should you want to go back to the original equipment uh, seat, uh, this is how you would go about it. That's the original equipment seat in there now. One other thing I uh, didn't mention before, uh, there's a plastic bushing in the middle of the post. Um, it's supposed to be one inch uh, across, exactly like the seat post for the bicycle is. However, it's a little bit too small. And in order to fix that, I took a one inch drill bit and reamed out the um, edges. Uh, the original equipment um, seat fit better after that. And uh, of course the bike post. So that's one extra little thing for you to know. <laughs> 